the pyramids. Stonehenge. The large sculptures of Easter Island. The Mayan pyramids. The 500 ton megaliths of Israel's Western Wall. How did the ancients move the massive stones from the quarry to the job site? Sculptor Mario Jason may have solved what has baffled archaeologists and mathematicians for eons. Man, six feet tall. Stone, 300 tons. How were they moved? Trees were cut. The trees were then bound together. Notches were cut in the stone. The trees were then inserted into the notches, and the legs were attached to the trees. The stone is lifted off the ground naturally. This minimizes the amount of energy used and lessens the amount of people required to move those heavy stones. Even moving heavy stones uphill or downhill with this system would be much easier because there is less surface area touching the ground than having the stones drag on wood rollers where the roads aren't perfect or even. For small stones weighing 2 to 10 tons, a cradle made out of wood with the same type of movement would do much better than the old system of pulling, especially when going up a ramp. 